today I'm here to show you how I organize my reading in Notion. One complaint I hear a lot in the reading community is that people get lost in what they've read, how many books they have. There are a lot of things to keep track of and this is the best way I found to do that. So if you don't know what Notion is, basically a software website, both, where you can do pretty much anything related to organization. Not gonna go too much into depth about it in here because I've already made a full tutorial of it. So if you are interested in learning everything about it, check it out. But you don't have to if you don't want to. I'll teach you the basics right now. This is the homepage I made for myself. I've only read nine books this year. No judgments here. I started in July. Didn't read anything before that. Anyway, reading goes for the month. Maybe a bit ambitious. I'm not going to read 10 books in six months, but it's good to dream big. Anyway, here you can see what I'm reading right now. I'm reading That's How You Lose the Time War. I've been stuck on it for like two weeks now. It's not for me, but I'm at that point in my reader's life that I refuse to drop a book, so I'm persisting. I will do it. Then below that, we have the best of the year. These are the books that I've rated as five stars and they show up automatically in here. And then below we have my calendar that shows when I've read what. It's very good to keep track of things. And then we have the manuals for specific genres. But wait, I haven't shown you the best part yet. The library where I keep track of every single book. Look, look, look. Here we have the book. Each book has its own page. Look, if I click here, you can see it has a page and I can write a review within it and how much I liked it and etc. Not only I can write a review, I can keep track of a lot of things. And what did I chose to keep track of? First, if I've read it. Second, the rating for each book the genre so that I can filter through them if I want to. Again, if I've read it or not, it is redundant, but I like it this way. I'll show you why in a minute. Then how many pages the book has and right here it sums all of it. The year I've read, also good for filtering. It will be when I have more years because I started this this year, then the author, then when I read the book, what language I've read it on, because right now all my books are in Portuguese, I'm Brazilian, but I can't find all books in Portuguese, so eventually I'll have some in English. And I also have a book in Italian, but I don't know the name of it, I just know the name of it in Italian and I can search for it. Wait, if you know what book this is in English, please tell me, because there are a lot of similar books that I don't know which one is it. So if you can tell me, thank you. Anyway, and then the medium, if it's physical or digital, like a Kindle, for example. I don't have a Kindle, but I plan on buying one, so I'm prepared. Anyway, this view I called my shelf, because these are the books that I already own, but I've also put other views. Read, these are only the books that I've read and I can check. Ones are my favorite and it's more concise and it's easier to get a grasp of what I've read and it also sums the pages. Then I have the general tab. What's the difference between that and my shelf is that in here there are also the books that are in my wish list, the books that I don't have yet, but I know that one day I will. And then we have the visual shelf, that basically is a visual shelf. Everything that's in here, I've put the cover. You don't have to do that, but I like doing so anyway. Then we have the last one, the wish list. These are only the books that I don't have yet. I've only put two here. I have more on my wish list, but I'm too lazy to put them in here. But anyway, now down below here, going back to the book section, we can find menus where I have specific genres. And why is that? Because in case I want to only see my romance books and how many I've read, I can. Here are they. And if I want to add a genre, I can do that by clicking add a genre. And I'll teach you how to set this up in a minute. Just you wait. All right, this is how my 
my page looks like and I'll teach you how to make yours. I mean, I've made it for you. You can download my template, it's on the description for free, don't worry. And right now I'll teach you how to use it, how to edit it and make it the best for you. Here we have the same page but without any books because you're going to start fresh, you have to put all your books here, not mine. First, the main page. If you want to change the little pictures in here, you can. I like the flower theme, you may not. In case you want to change the icon, you just click on it and you have a selection of emojis and different icons. You can even put custom ones here, just look for what you want. Then the cover, change cover, you can upload, you can put a link. And there's also a gallery built in here in Unsplash. You just search what you want and there will be some images for you. Anyway, this photo right here, you can right click it and replace and put whatever you want in here as well. Anyway, reading goals again, if you don't want that flower here, just click on it and put whatever you want. You can change the goals, you can delete them if you want, just click in here and delete. To edit it, just click on it and edit it. This part is very intuitive. Anyway, right here you can also change this image, don't worry. Now let's get to the fun part, the database. Here, access library and they are in the library and I have here an example book for you and yeah now things get a little harder but don't worry i'll walk you through it starting the general view and we have the example book with some properties already set for it so here are the rating i've already put all ratings here from one to five stars you can change that i'll show you how in a bit the genre i've put a lot of genres in here but i'm sure there are more you can add more genres in here just by writing them you can delete ones that you're not going to use like you don't like fantasy just delete fantasy to see. And you can also edit the ones that are already here by clicking these three dots here and editing them. You can change the color, you can change the title, do whatever you want. Then red, red. So here I made a selection of wish lists, books that are bought, books that I'm reading and books that are read. You can add more subsections if you want. You can remove them, just go here and edit property and you can do whatever you want. Very flexible. Here in when will open a calendar for you and you can click on the date you started and if you want to set an end date you click here end date and then you click on the end date and this will automatically show on the calendar in the other page it's all set up emotions so in my own setup, I've put the very specific emotions that I have. I didn't want to put my own for you, so I put just some generic ones. Please add your own. Delete this if you want. In the same way that I taught before, just click here in the ellipses and things will show up. To delete them, delete. Pages. You just type out the number of pages and it will do the sum for you. Year. If you want to also keep track of the books that you have already read, you can add the other years here, like 2022, 2023, however many you need. The author, I, I left the author tab blank because there are a lot of authors and I wasn't going to put all of them here. So feel free to add the authors you want. Medium, physical, digital. You can be more specific here if you want. Language. For a lot of you, probably there will be only one language, so you can delete this one altogether. I'll teach you how in a minute, but you can add your own languages here too. And here, this little checkbox, it's for your favorites, so it will appear here in red. Your favorites. So you can just glance at the page and know where your favorite books are. Anyway, now Let's go within the example book. You can see here there's already a template here. How good did I think this book was? How much I liked it? These are different things. A review and some notes. This is the template that I use, but maybe you don't want to use it. So I'll teach you right now how to change it. You come here, you see this button here, read them new, you click the little arrow in the side and you'll see review right here as default, you can click it. And then when you change this one, you'll change everyone so that when you create a new page, it will be just the way that you have set it up. Now let's talk about how you can edit properties and the views. For the properties, I've already shown you how to change the colors and the things within them, but maybe you don't want a property at all, you want to delete it. So what can you do? You can come here, delete property, and you can delete it. Or even then, you may want to create a new property, in which case you come here to the side, 
you click plus and you'll have a lot of options here <sighs> Again, there are a lot of options here, so I can't go through every single one in here. You can watch my full tutorial in case you want to know how to do all of that. But basically, I'll just go through select and multi-select here. You can click select and you can choose like, I don't know, hover type. And then you can put either paperback or hardback. And then you can select this ones. Now, multi-select is the same thing but you can choose more than one option, so that's that. Now, for the views, they will appear here on the top. You can edit them by going here on these ellipses. There are different layouts, and you can choose each properties you want to appear in each view. Hiding them will not delete them, so don't worry. Maybe in my shelf you don't want to know the rating, so you can just hide it, no problem there. Also, you can filter and sort them. For example, I want to filter here in my shelf, there are only the books that I have already bought, so the ones in my wish list do not appear in here. This is one filter, you can add however many you want or need. Then we have sort, that means you can sort them. Here I'm sorting by rating, so the best books are on top, the worst on the bottom, but you can sort by any property. Anyway, here are the different views with different filters and different sortings. And if you want to add your own view, you can click on the plus sign here and you can make it from scratch in your way. And if you want to delete a view, you can just right click it and it will appear. You can duplicate, rename, delete, delete, if that's what you want. So yeah, basically this is how it works. The rest of it will be automatic. So like the reading now will appear here. The best of the year will appear here. It will appear on the calendar if you do everything right. And then we have the little menus in here. And how do you use this? I already have some here set out for you, but you probably will want to add your own. So you click here, genre, and then it will have a new genre. So let's say I want to start by sci-fi. Sci-fi, and it will give you a general red and wish list for each genre you want. But here, because you are choosing what you want to sort by, you have to use the filter yourself. So what you do, here is sci-fi. I come here and filter. I filter by genre, click sci-fi, and now only the sci-fi books are going to appear. But you have to do that in all views. But it's not that much work you can do that. I believe in you anyway. This is pretty much it. Like, it's very complex, but very simple at the same time. There's a lot you can do with this, and it's all Awesome to organize yourself and yeah again link for this template in the description for free if you have any doubts you can just ask me in the comments i'll be happy to answer and that's pretty much it i hope you liked it i hope this was helpful if you like this video please leave a like and consider subscribing i make videos about writing art reading a lot of things so yeah i post on thursdays mostly and that's it thank you for watching